I want to be pregnant. Are you also tracking your discharge and looking for the quickest hacks to know if you're ovulating? So let's start with the signs that we can track ourselves and whether or not they tell us if we're ovulating. So cervical mucus, which is what you see in your vaginal discharge, does often change before ovulation. It becomes clearer, stretchier, more like egg whites, as you see in this video. And that's because of your rising estrogen levels. When you see that discharge, you're likely to be in the lead up to ovulating in the next one to two days, so you can focus your efforts if you are trying to conceive but it's a helpful clue, but not proof of whether or not you ovulated. Ovulation predictor kits are another common tool. They're the ones that you buy and then you have little strips that tell you if you're ovulating or not. What they do is they detect the LH surge and that's the luteinizing hormone that spikes just before you ovulate. A positive result on an ovulation stick means ovulation might happen in the next 12 to 36 hours. But it doesn't guarantee that it does actually occur. It just tells you that your body is saying that it should ovulate. Another thing you might use is tracking your basal body temperature, measuring your temperature at the same time first thing every morning, and you can expect it to show a small rise in your temperature after you've ovulated. Again, it's a clue to help you understand your body, but by the time you see that rise, your fertile window is already closed. So what does confirm ovulation? Well, only a few things really do. An ultrasound, which shows that a follicle has released an egg so you can see that it starts to collapse, or a blood test that shows a rise in progesterone seven days after we suspect ovulation happened. So if you have a 28 day cycle, we could do this blood test around day 21. And that's because progesterone is only made after you ovulate, when the follicle becomes a corpus luteum. Also, falling pregnant spontaneously also confirmed that you ovulated. So whilst apps and kits are good tools to help you understand when you're ovulating, they're not foolproof. They're not proof that ovulation took place. If you're trying to conceive, the best chance you have of catching ovulation is to have sex every two to three days throughout the month. So let me know what tools you use to track your ovulation.